Rosa Kelly welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to start this vlog and do a little bit of a challenge for myself and I wanted to read four more thrillers last time I did this I had so much fun and it actually motivates me a lot to do reading vlogs these are books that I've been wanting to get to for so long and actually one of them is new but I am super excited read it so the first one that i have here is alex macadalis this is the maidens i got this book right when it came out <laughs> and i still haven't been able to read it so this is the first one that i want to start with and so this is a dark academia book and it is a college setting and it talks about this a serial killer that supposedly it is one of the professors and so i just i'm, not, I'm excited to get to it of course and i just can wait um and so the next one that i have here is the stevens king the outsider now i read if it bleeds and i mentioned that before i read that one in my last reading vlog and on that if it bleeds there is one of the stories that is actually a spoiler a little bit of a spoiler of this book but regardless i still want it to get the full story and read this book so this is the outsider this is another one that i've been wanting to get to i do have the audiobook for this because this is quite <laughs> long and this is an hbo series so after i read the book i want to watch the series as well and the next one that i have here is by t kinks kingfisher and this is the twisted one this is one that i have from on my I think it's my August TVR and this is one that I pick up at Barnes and Noble and it talks about this uh, girl or lady named Mouse and after her grandma passes away she goes to her house to kind of clean it and get it ready to sell and then they discover that um, the step grandfather was a little bit of a disturbed man <laughs> and they find his journal and then they find all this terrible things that happen so seems a little bit scary and the last book that i have here is actually one that i just picked up which motivated me to do this vlog <laughs> it is in my dreams i hold a knife and it has a lot of dark academia vibes as well this is by ashley winstead and i believe this is her debut novel um but all of the comments here they are by Riley Saker by Andrea Vars I mean a lot of my favorite authors are recommending this book and this also talks about like a serial killer on a college setting but I think this is after um, they're done with school and there's like a reunion anyway excited to get to this so let's see how we do I think my girls just got home so <laughs> Okay, you guys, so a little update it is later on today, and I've been basically listening to the Maiden's audiobook all day today. I'm already on part three, chapter 12. I am really, really enjoying this book. So right now, I wanted to kind of work on my reading journal a little bit. I have been um, just updating some of the books that I've read in the past. I'm so behind. Um, so right now, I'm going to listen to this a little bit more and just continue working on my journal. So I am on chapter four, part 11 of The Maidens, and I am really, really loving this book. Oh my goodness. So I just finished the part where Theo makes an appearance on this book. If you read Silent Patient, you know Theo was also a psychotherapist, and so he kind of shows up in this book a little bit, and I want to know why and i'm just so intrigued about it i'm really loving um how the book is unraveling and so as you know this book is about a serial killer um, on a college setting so mariana is trying to discover um what is going on she is a psycho 
therapist as well and so she's trying to analyze this group of ladies that are called the maidens um there's a lot more to it that i'm not going to say but i'm just really really loving learning about her past uh, learning about um the maidens so so far really really good and i think i'm going to be finishing up this book today the audiobook is going pretty fast i was also doing some read along as i sit and relax but right now i'm going to do a little bit of cleaning around the house and put the audiobook back on and so yeah i'll let you know when i'm finished okay you guys so it is 10 30 right now and i just finished the maidens again an amazing book the twist at the end i just i love it <laughs> i even read the um the last part which is like the acknowledgments i guess it is so he talks about his inspiration he wrote this book during the times of covid and so i just i don't know i really like to read also about like the behind the stories like the inspiration and um, how the book came to be and i don't know i really like that but anyway so this book was really really good um compared to the silent patient i think i like them both equally i know i heard a lot of people said they like this one more I do like the Dark Academia vibes um, on this book a lot. But I think overall, I enjoy both the books the same. So definitely love this one. Now, I just saw on my app that one of the books that I wanted to read just became available. Which is this one right here, the Final Girl Support Group by Grady Hendrix. Um, so I think I'm going to... Um, try to listen to this one as well for this vlog now for this one i don't have a physical copy so this is going to be mainly in an audiobook um so yeah so right now i'm gonna get ready for bed go take a shower <music> Okay, you guys, so I just started this book here, The Twisted Ones, and right off the back, I really like the writing style. And so over here, they mention like the Nazca lines, and it says, All right, I meant to start at the beginning, and I already started bubbling about disclaimers and people writing books about crystal powers and the secret hidden in the Nazca lines. Let me start again. So it's just, I really, really like that writing style but i also really like that they mentioned nazca lines because i was literally there like a week ago so <laughs> that is just crazy but anyway i'm gonna read probably a chapter maybe two and until i fall asleep good morning guys so it is the next day and i am going to be driving to work right now and i'm going to be listening to the final support group um what's the name of the book final girls support group so i'm going to be listening to that and also i'm bringing with me the twisted one so i started this last night and i'm really loving the writing style of the book it's really engaging and it feels like you're directly talking um to the girl her name is mouse and so far it's really creepy the grandmother um it's, it was not a good person. I thought, you know, she was sad because her grandma passed away. But it turns out grandma was not so nice after all. Um, but yeah, so I'm barely two chapters into this book. Hopefully I have a little break in between my meetings to read a bit more. Um, but I'm excited to start with a new audiobook. And we'll see how that goes for the day. Back at home working can't complain actually <laughs> <laughs> So 
today is the next day today is a saturday yesterday i actually ended up working super late and i did listen to a lot of my audiobook for the final girls um support group on that book we're following six um ladies and they all go to the support group they all have been through um some kind of trauma surviving like it says they were the final girls and so they leave on this like fear that the killer might come back to get them and so they go to the support they have been going for 16 years and they're kind of like the, a little family and girls are jumping so i don't know if you can hear the noise sorry about that um and so anyway you get to follow the perspective of one of them lynette and so she talks about what her story was what happened to her how she survived and um also you see some of the you know she tells you the story of the other ones as well and so on this last group meeting one of the uh, friends didn't show up so they all kind of feared that something I had happened to her and so I am on that part of the book right now I'm on chapter 18 so at this point they kind of suspect that one of them has probably something to do with it and yeah so I do want to finish that book today so today again is Saturday and I do have my life class at 5 p.m. it is around 3 o'clock right now I was doing a lot of cleaning organizing i am donating a lot of clothes and i've just been doing that all morning hi <laughs> and um and so yeah so i'm gonna take a break right now and wait for the life class and on the meantime i want to read a little bit more of the twisted one so on this one i wasn't able to read much more yesterday because after i finished working i was just relaxing with the girls and i did a little bit of editing for my magazine as well and so i am on chapter three so at this point on this book like i said this on this book we follow mouse and she goes to her grandma's house who recently passed away and she's cleaning um, the house but the grandma was a hoarder and so there is a lot that she's going through and on um, the process she discovered her grandfather's um, journal so at this point on the book where I am she's kind of reading a little bit of that and trying to understand the grandfather who's possibly was um yeah, a little bit disturbed and so far whatever he's writing doesn't make any sense but i can't wait to figure it out i do really really enjoy the writing style on this book i think i mentioned that before um so yeah so that is where i am i'm going to try to read this a little bit more until it's time for my life class okay so tessie just show me how to make this coffee and oh my goodness it's so delicious it was so good it was so much fun making the coffee um so right now i'm listening to the audiobook i have about one hour left on um, the final girls support group and i was just taking some pictures of the projects for my magazine the life class today we created a base a mini album and it all has like different pages but what was fun about this book is that it has sliding pages so these pages pull out and then they has like a little like surprise opening here and then they tuck back in there and this don't come out uh, attach to the book and then they hide in there which I thought was super fun to make. And so, yeah, so all of the pages had that. So it was always, it's always fun to do a live crafty video. And yeah. and so, yeah, so right now, me and Emma are gonna sit down and watch some um, TV. We're watching this um, fashion show competition. <laughs> and we were watching last weekend, so we are going to watch this weekend since we don't really watch tv during you know during the week and so that's what we're gonna do good morning guys so it is a sunday today and so we're on our way to go visit grandma because it's her birthday today and it's about an hour drive so i'm going to be 
if you're listening to a new audiobook which is going to be the outsider i did finish yesterday the final girls support group so i'll talk a little bit more about the book at the end of the vlog and then also on the twisted ones i am now on page about 110 chapter 7 and i really like this book a lot so i'm going to bring this with me also maybe i'll do a little bit of a reading on the car as well since i'm not Gonna be driving by the way <laughs> we were meant to be so just sit with me talking through the night into the morning building can history and i don't think i ever want to go come closer next to me Hey guys, so we got home a little bit ago and I was just relaxing and reading some more of this book. I am in chapter 10 right now of The Twisted Ones and I have to say this book is so engaging. Like there's always something, so I'm always on edge and I really want to know like what happens next. So right now I'm going to switch to the next book because I actually want to start a new audiobook um, because I have... A lot of things to do around the house up for my laundry and so this one i do have an audiobook so i'm going to start that right now it's a huge book let's see how many pages this has about 500 and 40 ish so yes <laughs> oh, good morning guys it is another day and so today i'm working from home fully all day it's around 11 30 right now so i have not been listening to anything because i've been doing a lot of had a lot of meetings this morning but um now that i'm going to do some exhibits i am going to be listening to the outsider i did start this yesterday last night and i finished the whole part one um i actually finished the last chapter this morning as i was taking the girls to school um so i am on page 96 i guess it will be sorry and so yeah so i'm gonna put the audiobook on right now and continue with this reading and so so far there has been a murder of a of a child basically of a boy um, and so they are doing like investigations and interrogating people and basically accusing um somebody for you know doing the the murder and so yeah so i was listening to that yesterday as i was doing a little bit of <laughs> cleaning folding laundry and those fun sunday night um chores i didn't do much reading on these yesterday so i am currently on chapter 10 um, which is page 158 and it is about halfway through the book and so i can't wait to have a little bit of time to sit and read more of these so Okay guys, so it is later on the day. It's around 10 o'clock. Actually, it's more like 11 o'clock. And so I am getting ready for bed right now. I just took a nice shower. I have been like organizing my craft room and cleaning uh, most of the day. And so I was listening to the audiobook for The Outsider. And I am right now on page 188. Little boy is murdered and they're trying to investigate who did it. So this guy was arrested. So it's giving me a lot of detective vibes. I do like the whole investigation part of the book it's not really scaring me it's not like super scary in terms of like making me jump um but i think it is a scary in the sense that there is somebody you know a killer on the loose and so anyway so that is where i am with that book and then for the twisted ones i haven't really had time today to sit down and read this book i'm going to vegas this weekend and i just been like struggling for outfits i know it's gonna be super hot and it's my birthday weekend so i went out with the girls and we got some cute options that they actually picked up for me so let me show you the outfits that I ended up getting Ariel picked for me. So she picked this pink dress. And even though I love pink, I probably would have never pink pick a pink dress to wear. Uh, but I just tried it on and it's actually really, really cute. And I love how like you can see how big and loose it is. And so I think this is going to be nice to kind of walk around during the day. She also picked this 
white dress here again really like loose fitting and i like it and the back is i really like the sleeves which is something that i normally wouldn't go for and so yeah so on the back you just kind of like tie these and so your back is basically open so it's really cute i really like it and then i got a couple dresses for like nighttime um dinner and so this is just a simple black dress it's simple fun little dress and it's gonna be really cute with some heels and then this dress which is probably what i'm gonna wear for my birthday dinner the front is really cute so this material here is like clear as you can see and so it has this really like deep detail <laughs> and so it's very vegas um vegas vibes <laughs> that is what we got so right now i'm going to just lay down read a little bit more of the twisted ones and see i want to read at least two chapters right now before i go to bed i want to see what happens next and then hopefully i can move into this one um yeah <laughs> vlog i wasn't going to vlog today just because i don't have much to update you on i fell asleep yesterday after reading two pages of the twisted ones so i haven't made any progress since last night and then for the outsider i think i've been listening i probably moved like six chapters um on the audiobook today i had a super busy morning <laughs> with the meetings um but the reason why i wanted to say hello it's because i went to starbucks and they have now the pumpkin spice latte so it's now officially <laughs> fall season for me because this is what i look forward to the most it's like the beginning of fall even though here in california it's summer until october <laughs> but anyway i'm excited and i am now in the mood to read like everything about witches and fall and just get cozy but anyway i am sweating though because it's quite hot and i'm drinking hot coffee but it's worth it <laughs> so right now i'm actually going to sit and take a break i'm working from home today i actually had a couple side meetings and then i came back home um, and i'm just working from home the rest of the afternoon i have meetings until 4 30 or actually the last meeting starts at 4 30 so that's probably gonna go until 5 but anyway i i have an hour right now to relax so I'm going to read a little bit more of this and I think I'm just going to update you as I finish either this book or The Outsider. Um, so for The Outsider, I have 12 hours on audiobook. So I'm seven hours in and I have 12 more. So I have 12 hours at 1.5. I probably have like eight hours. I have been cleaning, dishing, moving things around every day just a little bit every day so i'm doing a separate vlog on that i don't know which one will be first and anyway i'll see you when i'm done reading <laughs> Hi guys, so another little update since I last updated you, it's been a couple days and so I have been moving right along with The Outsider. I have about two hours left on the audiobook so I am on page 450 and it's such a long book that I kind of had to take a break and I wanted to start something new. So I decided to start One by One by Ruth Ware and I have been listening to this book mainly all day yesterday and I'm not quite liking it so the story sounded really good so basically it's this group of co-workers that are going to like a retreat as a like a bonding experience and meditation they go to the snow and then there is an avalanche that happens and one of them goes missing and then slowly all of them start going missing which sounded really good what i'm not really liking about this book is like they all work for this like app company where you get to basically listen music 
taste from your friends or your favorite artists and so it's kind of like an app development which i'm not really digging and i'm not really liking and it talks a lot about that as well so it honestly got really really boring for me and so i just don't think i'm going to be able to finish this book i'm just really not liking so i decided <laughs> to go back to the outsider i have about a couple hours left and i think i will be finishing this book today and and then today we're gonna go see hamilton which i'm so so excited about um tomorrow's my birthday so this is gonna be like an early birthday celebration i've been wanting to see hamilton oh my gosh me and the girls were like obsessed with it the whole summer uh during quarantine i think we watched that like a hundred times and they're now here in san francisco so i'm just excited so that is where i am right now with my reading i'm going to go back to this one i'm going to dnf this book um i still want to read more from ruth where because i really love um, the death of mrs uh, westaway i really love that book you know i still want to read her books i just think that this one is just not for me uh, but yeah so we are on our way to go see hamilton so so excited been a couple days since I last updated you on the vlog um, so I was able to finish The Outsider I finished the whole audiobook and of course I enjoy this book so much it had some scenes that were like really difficult to hear a little bit um, creepy so maybe this book has a little bit of trigger warnings I'm not sure but I definitely suggest that you check those out uh, but it's definitely um, a little bit disturbing <laughs> at points uh, but I enjoy the book so much it did give me a lot of like creepy feelings and um, I also really like the fact that they bring a lot of like Mexican folklore into this book and I love that actually and so then I was reading um, the twisted one so now for this one I am now on chapter 19 so I have about I think there is 20 let me see how many chapters are on this book uh, there are 24 chapters and so I am in page 303 now this book took a turn and of course I'm enjoying this a lot so this has been my main read um, today and I'll probably read a little bit more before I go to bed I don't have that much left and then I can finally move to this other book wait let me hold it let me hold it right <laughs> so this right here is in my dreams I hold a knife and I've been waiting for this book um, and usually I read two books at the same time um, besides the audiobook this time I really wanted to get these other books done before I go on my trip um, because maybe I'll just bring this one with me and I probably won't include it on this vlog but I definitely want to give it a star and yeah so I think I want to read this book tonight at least for a couple chapters so it, was, it is around 10 30 right now the girls are in bed I just washed my face as you can see and so yeah so that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna lay in bed do a little bit of reading um, I do have a meeting super early in the morning so I'm not going to um, stay up too late and so yeah so we'll see if I can get into at least a couple chapters I definitely want to get this one finished to do the wrap up of the vlog how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder how 
How come the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds? Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain... Okay guys, so it is the end of the vlog and I just wanted to wrap it up and talk a little bit about each book that I read. So as I have already mentioned to you, I started the one by one by Ruth Ware and I just didn't feel like this book was interesting to me so i decided to not finish this book i did read the first 150 pages so i don't know if it's by chapters but i am in page 155 maybe i will pick it up later on maybe it gets good i don't know let me know if you read this book and i probably resume this later but i think that uh, it was a little bit slow for me and who knows maybe it gets better so <laughs> i will give it a second chance um then i went ahead and finished the twisted ones and this is by t kingfisher and i really love this book it started really strong then it got a little bit slow for me in the middle um but Overall, I really, really enjoyed this book. So this is about Mouse and she goes to her grandma's house after she passes away and she was asked by her dad to clean it up. God, no, 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 don't spill my coffee. <laughs> I am drinking the new um, Apple Chris Macchiato and it is so good. I live for Starbucks <laughs> uh, fall drinks. Oh my gosh, this one is... It's like a dessert in a cup though it's a little bit sweet but i love it i really do love it but anyway back to the book so she goes to her grandma's house to clean it up and get it ready to sell after she passes away and grandma is a hoarder and so while she's there she discovers her step grandpa's um diary here she comes again trying to spill my coffee he talks about this other book that he wrote that's called a green book and she's so interested in that grandma had hit this book so she's decided to kind of find it so as she goes and cleans the house she is looking for the book and there is this like strange strange things happening on the woods behind the house and it gets really good it gets a little bit scary um and i i, I would love to see this book on like a scary movie um i don't know i really i enjoyed this book a lot so i do recommend this book i was hoping for something a little bit more shocking towards the end but overall, I really did enjoy this book. I'm I want to give this book like a four star. Um, then I read The Outsider by Stephen King. On this book, we follow um, like a homicide case. Um, so this kid gets murdered on like really, really brutal way. And um, the detective is trying to find out who did this. And the way that um, the they killed this kid, it was very sinister. So something strange there definitely happening. I really enjoy the detective part of this. And then also, like I mentioned before, there is a lot of like uh, Mexican folklore on like believing on kind of like the boogeyman. And I loved it. Um, the ending, again, this one was an unexpected ending for me, but discovering what happened was what I enjoy the most. Um, from this book. So next book that I read, and this was an audiobook, was the Final Girls Support Group. And so for that one, I gave that one a three star just because um, it started really, really strong for me, but I just kind of lost my way um, <laughs> within the book for a little bit. We are following six girls or six ladies, and they have all survived some sort of like, um, massacre and that's why they call them the final girls and they go to this therapy session and they have been going for years so they're kind of all like sisters and then they discover that one of them is writing a book about um about the secrets of the others and so then they start suspecting of each other and then they start disappearing and they're just being chased. To me, it kind of felt a little bit like Friday the 13th. Overall, I enjoyed the book. It was a really good read, but it didn't have 
it didn't grab me or shock me or anything like that so then the next book that i read is the maidens by alex mcdellis and so he is the same author as silent patient which i really really enjoy and now this book of course i enjoy so much as well i read this book and one day it was super like it, it really holds your attention which is what i love about books and it was an easy read and it just goes super fast because you really want to know what happens next so on this book there is a secret society called the maidens and one of the um, girls goes missing following mariana and mariana goes to visit her niece who happened to be the roommate of the girl that went missing so she was really worried about her and then she went there and started investigating um, the professor that you know that was running the maidens club and she really sus suspected of him because she also used to go to that school and there was always something going on with that professor so it really really grabs your attention the ending shocked me i did not expect how things were going to turn out and that's what i love the most about books when i don't even see it coming and so yeah so for me this was a five star book if i was to compare this book to the silent patient i think i will take this one um over a little bit more i did enjoy this one just because it's a school setting again the ending super shocking you also see the therapist from the um, silent patient if you read that book that therapist kind of makes an appearance on this book so i was really intrigued about that um and yeah so highly highly recommend this book and then i have here in my dreams i hold a knife and this is by ashley winston now i did not finish reading this book so i'm not gonna do a full review maybe i'm gonna include this one on to <laughs> there's another cat i'm going to include this one on the next reading vlog when i read um I have a couple more trailers that I want to get to and I think fall is the best season for that as well. So I did start this though. I, I am barely on chapter 3 for this book. I just started this last night. So I'm definitely going to continue reading. I've heard a lot of amazing reviews about this book. So I have high expectations and predictions for this book as well. So we will find out on the next reading vlog when I read more trailers. If my camera is shaking, it's because... Pokey is here. Come here. I want to say hello. Hey, little troublemaker. And so, yeah, so those are the books that I read for um, this week. I hope that you guys enjoy the vlog. And um, let me know if you have read any of these books before or if you are motivated to read some of these if i was to recommend a book from here it will definitely be the maiden so definitely check it out i absolutely enjoy this book so so much and so yeah so i hope you guys enjoy the vlog and i'll see you on the next one Bye -bye.